Hi everyone, I'm Ben from Ellie. I wanted to update you on a few enhancements we've, we've made to the student task player. We had had a few requests to simplify it and to add a few features and we've done that now. So this video will show you those, those changes. All right, so there's three uh, enhancements in total. Uh, the first is that we have put all of the tasks into a task player so that students can complete each task sequentially without clicking back and forth like they had to do before. Uh, they used to have to click into a task, then click out of it, and then into the next one and out. Now it's all sequ sequential inside of one task player. Uh, the second is that we're now showing partial and um, final scores to the student. So even if you have not submitted a final grade to your student when it requires uh, the teacher to submit a grade on certain tasks, it will show a partial score. And the third uh, change or enhancement is that we've made the design of the student task player now look the same as the design of the teacher task player so that if you are presenting in class, um, it will look and feel the same to the student when they go home and do it on their own or do it in, on a device in the, in the class on their own. All right, so I'm logged in as Amir here as a student. I'll show you all of those changes now. Um, and uh, Amir has two uh, lessons to do inside of the intermediate conversation class. Let's click on this one here about influencers. All right, so when I land on here, you'll see the partial score is 0%. That will fill gradually as the student completes tasks. And um, right here is just sort of a summary of all of the assignments that I've done or have not done so far, or I should say all of the tasks that I've done or not done. Um, and just one big start button to get started inside that task player. So your students just simply click start. And once they click start, they land inside of this task player, which should look familiar to you as a teacher because it, it has that same feel uh, that the teachers have as well. All right, now if I click start on this, this first one is just to watch a video about influencers. And when I'm done, I click on finished and you can see there's a little green uh, check mark here to indicate that I have completed it and a black button here to move on to the next task. We'll do that. Uh, in this particular one, it's define the vocabulary. Uh, I'm not going to do this one. It's uh, too long to complete. So let's skip ahead uh, to something else here. We'll go on to vocabulary preview and I'm just going to randomly drop some words in here and I hope I get one of them right here. Actually, I'll just make sure that I get one right and uh, drop the rest in without really reading them just to get a score so you can see uh, how the scores are achieved. I got one out of six correct. And I can see that I've, um, I, you know, I've still got this one to do. I've completed this one. So as I sort of go through them all, I see these check boxes and it will sequentially take me right to that next task right from here, which is what a lot of teachers have been asking for for their students. Now, if I leave the lesson as a student, uh, maybe I'm done for the day and I want to come back to it later. I can see my scores here the next time I come back. But also when I click continue lesson, it's going to jump me right to the task that I need to do next. So I had skipped this one before, define the vocabulary. It brings me right back to that middle one there. You can see there. So it keeps me, um, it keeps me organized and keeps me uh, in a flow. All right, uh, so that was one of the changes. You'll also notice that on things like, let's see here if we can click into this one. Yeah, uh, down here, the instructions are now down here, just like they are for the teacher, whereas before they would have been up in the top right corner. And it was a little confusing because what you were showing your students in class was different than what they were actually doing on their own devices. All right, and finally, just going back here to our scores here, you can see that I've got this partial score here of 1%. Uh, those would fill in as I complete all of these different tasks here and they can get an understanding too uh, if they click this of how the different tasks are weighted. For example, just watching a particular warm-up video uh, is going to be less weight than writing a whole paragraph inside of a writing task. So the weights are there and the scores are there and if an assignment is, um, if a task is an open-ended task that requires you to give it a grade as a teacher, uh, this will remain as partial score until um, until you as the teacher gives a final score within the grade feed itself. So let's go and look at just one other lesson here in past assignments, something I've done in the past as a student distracted driving. I can see that I have this final score up here at 76% um, and I can see that there were also comments uh, here from my teacher 
uh, as well that I could click into. So those are some of the differences there. We hope that you like uh, the changes. We hope that your students appreciate those changes. Uh, and please keep giving us your feedback and suggestions. We love it and we love to update the lessons or the, the pages uh, as those requests come in. Thank you and hope you're enjoying the site.